This is the TT bike for 2016 of new Team Sky signing Mikel Lander, who's moved across from Team Astana, where of course he was using Specialized. Now, third in the Giro d'Italia in 2015, he is a proven climber, but time trialing is somewhat of a weakness in comparison. Many of you recently would have seen the video that Matt did over in Mallorca at the Velodrome, where they spent some time with some of their new key signings and current riders like Geraint Thomas on their position. Lander was there, and this is the position that they have come up with since and on which he has been training over here on the roads of Mallorca before the start of the season. So at the heart of the bike is of course a Pinarello Bolide frame. This has been around now for a couple of years since Bradley Wiggins first used it at the 2013 Giro d'Italia. Not too much has changed. There's been some very small changes that have made the bike slightly lighter and slightly more aerodynamic since then. Now, one of the key sponsors for Team Sky is Shimano. So as you'd expect, it's a full Shimano Dura Ace Di2 group set and the subsidiary of Shimano Pro also provide the wheels here as well. So we've got a full disc here at the back and that tri-spoke there at the front. However, bear in mind that this is currently a training bike, so things could change throughout the season when he's actually doing some races. At the top here, it's Physique that provide the TT saddle. That is the Tritoni. Very common now to see saddles that look like that on TT bikes with the kind of stubby front end. That allows them to get within the regulations in terms of the distance behind the bottom bracket that they need to be, while still allowing them to move forward on the saddle so they can still be comfortable when they're on the TT bars there at the front. Continental are the company which provide the tyres for Team Sky at the moment. This is the Competition 22mm tubular here at the rear, but interestingly they've got a different size from the front to the rear. So at the front there you will see it's a 24mm, slightly bigger, and 22mm at the back. And this seems to be a little bit of a theme. So recently Matt Stevens, whilst he was here, did a pro bike on Michal Kwiatkowski's road bike at the time. He said that the tyres were 24 millimetres. Our graphic and showing of the tyres said it was 22. And that was actually because it was different front to rear. And that's the reason why it looked like he got it wrong. In terms of the group set, as I said, it's a full Shimano Durace Di2. It's got the kind of fairly commonplace now shifters located on the end of the skis and the end of the base bars as well, which allows riders to be able to change gears easily on the flat and on climbs without coming out of their position. He has an 11 up to 25 11, 11 speaker set here at the rear. The chain rings are a relatively large 55 big one and 44 there on the inside. Shimano also provide the pedals in the form of their Dura Ace carbon version. Now, TT bikes, as you will have seen on GCN, generally weigh a fair bit more than their road counterparts. So I've once again enlisted the help of Matt Stevens. Will you weigh it for us, please, Matt? One, two, three, and lift. So 8.5 kilograms, not too bad by time trial bike standards, but a fair weight above the UCI's minimum weight limit of 6.8 kilograms. A couple more points before we finish this video. The bend of the end of the skis is quite interesting. It's quite steep in terms of its angle. There was that fashion to have fairly flat skis for the riders for a number of years, but Team Sky have been doing a lot of testing and this is what they feel is the fastest for Mikel Lander himself. I didn't mention on the saddle, there's some really nice rubber grippy stuff here at the front rather than using kind of sandpaper like we've seen Tony Martin doing in the past. But talking of sandpaper, there is very much an abundance of that on the bars, both on the skis themselves and also on the base bars to make sure that his hands don't slip. The brakes are very hidden from view. As you can see at the back here, you can't see them at all. And at the front, you can just about see the front of the brake blocks are very hidden from the wind and therefore very aerodynamic. And finally, it's the bottle and cage, both provided by Elite, Team Sky specific. And they've got two mounts at which they can put the bottle cage on. Apparently, the one lower here is the more aerodynamic of the two. If you'd like to see that video which Matt did with the performance team from Team Sky at the Velodrome in Mallorca, you can find it by clicking just up there. Meanwhile, down there is our complete pro bike playlist, which includes hundreds really now from the last couple of years. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, it's free and all you've got to do is click that small box in the middle.